Kevin Swanson is a lunatic radio host who has said in the past that the movie Frozen is a secret plot to make your kids gay. That's the level of lunatic that we're dealing with here. Okay? And he also said 3,000 other insane in the membrane things. I, I would need all day to go through all of it. Well, this guy's back, and pay close attention here to his argument. He's going to talk about how when we freed the slaves, we didn't really free the slaves. The world tends to move from slavery form A to slavery form B. You say, well, then we're just going from slavery to slavery. Yeah, human nature enslaves himself. That's what happens. And uh, Walter Williams, the instructor from, uh, I think it's Grove City College, African-American man who's uh, done some good work in economics, he talks about how the African-Americans here in America moved from the local fiefdoms off to the federal plantations. I think Thomas Sowell speaks of the same thing. But again, that's that's what I'm talking about. We we move from slavery form to slavery form. And it's the socialist ut utopians that come into town, and they promise deliverance from local fiefdoms only to create a larger tyranny in the Soviet Union and the Soviet America, Soviet China, and Soviet everywhere else in the world. So just keep that in mind, that these great and grand socialist utopians come into town and say, we'll sell you a bill of goods. We'll, we'll deliver you from slavery form A to slavery form B, and that happens a lot to people who don't understand that it's Christ who sets us free. Did you follow what his argument was there? He said, well, obviously, throughout history, people move from slavery form A to slavery form B. So at first, I'm like, okay, go on. What are you saying? This might make sense. What are you going to say, Jim Crow? Yeah, we moved from slavery to Jim Crow, and that was just another form of slavery. Or the war on drugs? Well, we moved from segregation to the war on drugs, which is just another form of segregation, and it's another form of slavery. You're just locking up all the people that have dark skin. So there is a potential rational point in there somewhere. I'm listening, I'm waiting. No, we move from slavery A to slavery B, and what he means by that is when those big bad Union soldiers and Abraham Lincoln came in and they freed the slaves, what did they bring? Communism! and a socialist utopia. What are you talking about? And as if he wasn't clear enough, he said, well, this is the problem with the Soviet Union and Soviet America. Soviet America? What are you talking about, son? That's what I love about these conservative radio hosts. They have no idea what they're talking about. They have no idea. It's like you gave a child a microphone who just learned the names of the different types of political systems. They don't even know what they mean, and they just go out there and have verbal diarrhea all over the place. Soviet America. America was never even close to anything that was socialist or communist or anything, man. I mean, just look at our, our economy today. This is one of the jackasses that argues, well, President Obama's a communist and he's a Marxist and he's a socialist. <laughs> Uh, really? Did you know that 91% of the jobs uh, in our economy today, would you like to take a guess as to what they are? Private sector jobs. 91% of the jobs are in the capitalist sector. Tell me again about communism and a socialist utopia. Tell me again about how Abraham Lincoln and when we freed the slaves, we really just brought in communism. I'm really interested in that point, which makes absolutely no sense at all. But that, they don't care about reality, man. They don't care about reality. He said, oh, uh, what you did is you took slaves from the local fiefdom, or fiefdom, whatever he said, and you brought them to the federal plantation. What does that even mean? That, this is, I think this is the argument that they make when, you know, E.W. Jackson and a few other people made it, where they say, uh, you just traded one slavery for another before there was actual slavery, and uh, what do we have now? Well, we have welfare. We have uh, social security, and we have unemployment the free government money, that's keeping them down. It's like slavery. <laughs> right. That's a good point, man. Giving somebody a dollar and 30 cents a meal in order to feed their kids because their job that they work full-time doesn't pay them enough to survive, that's totally like slavery. No, in my book, that's the opposite of slavery. Giving somebody a little bit of a helping hand when times are rough and their job doesn't pay them enough to survive, that would be a good thing, not a bad thing. 
But they flip it. They say, no, that's actually slavery. What are you talking? No, slavery is when you take away somebody's freedom, treat them like property, rape their family, break up their family, whip them, and tell them to get out in a fucking cotton field for 13 hours a day and, and act according to your will and have no breaks whatsoever and die at the age of 52. That's slavery. Saying, uh, hey, here's uh, 350 bucks for this week because your job is not paying you enough to live. That would be something kind. But I don't even know why I'm bothering with a guy like Kevin Swanson. I like the Kevin Swanson on Family Guy much better. This Kevin Swanson has roughly three brain cells left in his head, and even they are going away, and it's pretty clear to see.